Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from Viva La Vegan and today I want to show you through what I have in my bathroom. Here we go. Okay, so my favorite product is probably Perfect Potion and um, this Eros body lotion I've been using for maybe 20 years since um, I used to manage the music section at Chandler's uh, Maya Center years ago. Um, I always use that every day and then sometimes I use this chakra blend for my root chakra which is also perfect potion so I use that instead of um, perfume. I use this Biologica deodorant and sometimes I spray this crystal essence one on as well. If I'm not doing too much makeup but have bags under my eyes or something I use this Pure Geisha one. Pure Geisha no longer exists actually so um, when that finishes I would buy the cruelty free face which is from the cruelty free shop um, you can get that online or in Sydney Melbourne and coming soon are um, Brisbane and um, Canberra I use some Natio products sometimes this is also um, my bulk sort of stuff here um, so I've got I love Dr. Bronner's soap, so I've just got that as a bar soap for in the shower. I've got some, um, this is cruelty free face um, liquid foundation for when my other one finishes. I use these Go Bamboo toothbrushes, biodegradable and not plastic. Um, and this razor from um, Preserve, which is, um, they make them from used or no longer or recycled yogurt containers I believe from the states. I love Lucas Paw Paw ointment for lips um, for anything really um, and that's a local company in Acacia Ridge in Queensland the state that I live in. I've got this Eco Dent vegan floss that I've had for a few years and it's traveled to quite a few continents with me too so but this is massive like it's um, nine, almost 92 meters or 100 yards and it's still going um, also have this orange powder that I use as a freshener around the house um, and also some other makeup I love beauty without cruelty so that's just some backups for when I finish with my coal pencil and this is the best mascara which is ultimate mascara from beauty without cruelty that's a UK brand up on the next level I have I wonder how this will work might bring them down so I love Dr. Bronner's um, soap and I buy normally a big container of this and I put them in little um, foam containers so I have one of those on my sink and I have one of them in the shower I love this organic care conditioner and their shampoo as well this is just my backup stuff when I shaved my head and when my um, hair was growing back my friend um, Jasmine Singer from our hen house in the state she suggested that I use this Aveda defining whip so I've still got a bit of that from a few years ago another um, perfect potion product that I use is rose hip oil so this is if for example I have makeup on throughout the day and I come home and I take it off and I put the oil on after I remove my makeup also use this after sun gel from perfect potion as well a perfect potion is um, an Australian brand but they they are all over Australia now and um, definitely in um, Japan I'm not sure where else overseas though but I use this if um, when I come home from swimming or if it's been if I've got a lot of sun either on the golf course or just walking around or something in the hot sun Laverne is a good toothpaste Lavera is a good toothpaste that I use and I also at the moment have this Neem one that I'm in the middle of and this is really good because you can get it for quite cheap at like the Indian grocery stores. 
Um, I've just discovered I get a lot of pain from writing and being on the computer all the time and calligraphy and my um, hand lettering and golf and pretty much everything I do hurts my right arm. I've been using this new magnesium pain relief at the moment where you just spray it on and rub it in. Um, always use Arnica cream and I pretty much when I do something I'll rub that on after I've played say golf or um, done something new I haven't done for a while in regards to exercise or um, after a massage or something. I love massages and in particular Thai massages or deep tissue and this is a really cool um, Thai balm like a tiger balm and that's green inside and it, it goes on really cold after you put it on it goes hot first and cold um i have tea tree oil and i just have it in this bottle it used to be thursday plantation but now they test on animals so i buy a different brand and just reuse this bottle um so I would put that on after, say, I've exfoliated my face or I've put on some of my rosehip oil after taking my makeup off. And if I've got a few blemishes coming up or something, I'd put that on those before I go to bed. Always have a tub of um, coconut, coconut um, oil and I would take this with me when I go swimming so after I do laps I'll lather that on afterwards and that's a really good moisturizer and you know at least once a month I'll put that on my um, hair and leave it at least overnight and um, that really works wonders for my hair speaking about my hair the products that I use that I showed you before are um, the organic care nourish so this one here i use as a shampoo and then i had the other one which was the nourish conditioner so they're the ones i use and i also have another perfect perfect potion um, item which is a detox body buff and so this is a good exfoliator i use whenever i can be bothered and i use it with this little um exfoliator sort of mitt I've had for years. There's the other lot of the Dr. Bronner's um, soap in a little foam container and I sometimes have a bar soap there too. And that's about it for my um, bathroom and I hope you've liked it and um, let me know if you'd like any videos like this.